Hi everybody, we are hanging out at Mummy's Chilies and uh, we are trying out different chilies for the chili festival. So we have Mummy here to tell us more about chili. Mummy, tell us more about your chili. Hello, you... I, my name is Anjali Patel and I am, I am Mummy of Mummy's Chilies. So I will tell you a little bit about myself and how I love my chilies and then we'll go into all my products if that's okay. Yes, that's okay. So, I, uh, so from the age of about one and a bit when I could walk, I would go into my fridge and I would start to eat all the chilies in the house. So of course, being from a nice Indian family, my dad loved chilies, my mum loved chilies. There were always chilies in the household. And from the age of one, I would go into the fridge and I would start to eat the chilies. Such a contrast from my brother who was two years old than me. And he would reach for the biscuits and the chocolates and I would be eating the chilies. And so by the age of three, my name was Pili Pili. Uh, I was named Pili Pili by everyone in my family, except my brother who called me Mama Kali. But that's of course to be expected. Yes. <laughs> so I love my chilies. So uh, a few years ago, I, I'd been making chilies all my life. And I decided I was going to start up my little brand. And of course, some of the recipes are my mum's. That's part of part mummy. And I asked my children, I said, what should we call my brand? And they said, you know, they called me Mummy in those days, and they said Mummy's Chilies. Of course, they called me Mum now, but let's not talk about that. They are teenagers and they're entitled to do what they want to. But I love my chilies. So I grew from two products to four to six to 13 now, and actually by 14, I've just introduced a new one. Okay. And what I find with chilies is, so we've had a lot of people here at the Chili Festival today saying, I just want to eat. I don't believe in that. I think every chili has its own character, its own flavor, and that's what I love to embrace. And I have to say, we are so blessed in Kenya. I am Kenyan, fourth generation. We are so blessed in Kenya to have such amazing fresh produce. Uh, we have chilies of every color. You can see the colors that I've got here on my table. They are stunning, vibrant colors. And these are all locally grown chilies, and they are just amazing. So what I try and do is I've got something for everyone, I think. So I've got from the very mild to the very, very spicy. Okay. So I have a very traditional carrot and chili pickle which I love and I can open a jar and just eat it. Okay. It goes with everything. I have a chili jam which I only eat. so I don't have a sweet tooth at all. But I started doing the chili jam because I had people who really wanted to have them. Um, they asked me, my clients, my regular clients asked me for a sweet chili. So I experimented and came up with a chili jam. Uh, so this is fabulous with cheeses, cold cuts, you can stick it in marinades, in Chinese food, oriental food, just to give a little bit of a, a sweetness and a kick. Okay. Then I've got my, so my two most popular ones are the green and the red. So the green with garlic and red with garlic, very similar chili, chilies, so different in character, so different in flavour. These are my most versatile of products. Uh, you can have them, you can have them on their own as a condiment. You can use them in cooking, which is how my children first learned how to eat chili, when I would add a little bit more in stews and barbecues and dangles. Um, and so those are my, my two very, very easy going chilies. Now we get a bit spicier, so because I love my chilies so much, I experiment all the time. So I chose to get, I decided one day, we had beautiful strawberries in the house, beautiful chilies. And so I came up with my strawberry chili mint. Uh, a little bit different, you either love it or you hate it because you get this explosion of flavours in your mouth. You get sweet, sour, you get the heat of the chili and then you get the mint at the end. This is very versatile again, you can have it with barbecued meats, you can dip crudite into it, you can do lots of things with it. So now we're getting hotter again. This is a, just a very easy going, speaks for itself, chili oil. Okay. So this is made with bird's eye chilies, but beautiful pizzas, pastas, the regular things you would imagine. I so often eat a whole bowl full of rice just to eat my chili oil. I love it. We move on. So normally I do a golden habanero, but I've had to be out of season for a couple of months. So I have today um, tried a new golden chili. It's called the Fresno chili. It is stunning. It is very much along, along the lines of the dream in terms of the character, but the heat and the flavor and I mean, come that's sunshine yellow. You really can't go wrong with that color. Yes. Absolutely stunning chili. Now we're getting hotter. So we've got my two at the end. We've got. Okay, I'm going to start with the hottest one first. We've got the red habanero, yes. which is really spicy. So a lot of people today at the chili festival just want to eat. Absolutely fabulous. You get the heat first, and then you get the flavor. All the rest, you get the flavor first. Very yellow chili, but very hot. And so what I do with that is I experiment with this, and I try to cut the pili pili juicy from Tanzania. So I've got the habanero, but I've got onions, tomatoes, garlic, and ginger. So it just makes it into a sauce. And so those are all my chili products. I do have a few other things here, but this is my cool range. Um, so I do have chili stuffed olives, in which. 
for each of the olives, I have put a little bit of oil. Um, I have a goat cheese with olives, and I have a feta cheese with olives, and I have a mozzarella with basil. But this is my passion. This is what I love. Uh, do you want to talk about uh, the different types of chilies? Because one of the key things in terms of educating guys about chilies is basically the different types of chilies you use for the different uh, sauces. Absolutely. So, like I said, every single chili, chili has its own character. We have we have the very long ones, you have the very dark ones with the green, for example. You've got the red ones, you again, with the red, you've got the long, you've got the very, very short ones, which are bird's eye. Uh, you have the fatter ones. There are so many different types of chilies. There's a the habanero, which is a little bit squished up. Now, the thing with chilies is you need a lot of rain and you need a lot of sunshine to make them exactly the way you want them. Um, I love them all. I think in Mexico they are really blessed because I think they have 142 different varieties. But in Kenya, we have even nicer ones. I think we're just very, very lucky. Anything you want to share about uh, chili to the guys watching? You know what? Chili has to be loved. You don't have to go really hot. Uh, there is something for everybody. I have today educated a young man who didn't, who didn't eat chili and he kind of got up to the green, struggled a little bit, but he really enjoyed it. And the thing is, you don't have to have a lot. You don't have to be a chili fiend. I love my chilies and I can put them in everything. I know a lot of people won't do that, but, but there is something about chilies that is so good. Green chilies have got so many uh, things that are good for you. So they can regulate blood sugars, they're good for your gut, uh, they are an antioxidant, they're good, good for your heart. And the most important thing, and I have to, I really have to say this, the most important thing about chilies is they release endorphins. That makes you happy. Yes. And to me, that is the most important thing. I'm always happy because I always eat my chilies. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, let's talk about cocktails. You know, some of us, we take our cocktails, ah, uh, yes. you know, so with my... a little bit of chili. So Absolutely. what can you recommend for us? So you know, I know like... you like your tequila. Yeah, so tequila. A little drop of that in your tequila. Yes. Is just amazing. Okay. Now, my strawberry chili, and actually even the red, I would even do both of those in a, a Bloody Mary. Okay. So with tomato juice, instead of using Tabasco, I would use, and actually, let's even go further. I would even use a few drops of the red habanero. Fantastic. Any last words? Please enjoy chilies. Absolutely love them. If you do want chilies, Mummy's uh, Chilies is on Facebook. And you are very welcome to call and we will deliver to you. But if you can, try and try to taste them so you can, you can tell all the differences. Each of mine is so different. And I think that's what you have to do. You have to really appreciate chilies to enjoy them. So what is the last uh, chili cocktail you had before Ooh. we go? The last chili cocktail I had was the Bloody Mary with the strawberry. <laughs> and it was fabulous. And on this side, I had my chili stuffed olives. And I had a whole camembert. So this is now the, all the food that goes with the cocktails because you yeah. have to eat when you Yeah, definitely. Them. So you have a whole camembert and you drizzle the chili jam on it. Or you can have samosas, in which case you serve the red and the green, or even the habanero. I would go any of those routes. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. You're I welcome. appreciate that. <laughs>